Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. What up, and welcome to Boring Reviews. Nick there. Joey there. And today we are reacting to another David Mitchell, ladies and gentlemen. Soapbox. So I always forget that part. Soapbox. Soapbox. I like soapbox. how you said that. Soapbox. And which soapbox are we checking out today? Asking inappropriate questions. Gotta love this. <laughs> it's like my dad would say it's a dirty <laughs> job, but someone's gotta do it. No. No. Yes. No. Are you really pregnant? No. Never <laughs> ask them if they're pregnant. That they're pregnant. Never, never. Man, pregnant. are you over 50 yet? No. No. So never ask. <laughs> Let I, me guess. Your weight is? We're... I, I was watching, or we were watching together at that show. Um, what is that dating show on Netflix where they dress up like his animals? Yeah, so sexy Beast. Sexy Beast. Like and this guy was saying Let's that, see. like, how he's really, really good at guessing people's ages. And so he guesses the first girl's that's age, why he's right? single. He guesses the next person's age, right? And so then this masseuse that's, like, massaging their feet at the time is like, oh, well, I guess my age. And he guesses her age, and she was, like, so offended at the number. Like, he didn't even try to go low. He was, like, 60-something. Oh, she was no. just, like... No. And you could tell she was upset. Like, she's not that old. He totally but he was her. right about the others? But he was right about the others. Jeez. But, so, I mean, maybe he has some type of talent. I don't know, but he definitely was confident in what he said. But it just reminds me of, like, when students try to guess your age. And I've gotten, like, 48, oh. 62, 53. Are you 93? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Move pretty good for a 93-year-old, don't I? Punks. But I'm excited to see what his inappropriate questions are. I, I can't wait. I just can't wait. We're going to jump right into this. We have other David Mitchell reactions from Soapbox Soapbox on the channel. You can go ahead and check out those reactions. I really do like it. I'm not making fun of it. Yeah. Go ahead and check those out. And if you like what you see here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Over 90% of you guys are not subscribing. Please subscribe. It truly helps our channel. And go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded videos. I love how he has a video titled The Merits of Necrophilia. All right. Here we schmizzle. I don't like to boast, but the other day I met an American. Yes, yes a real one. I shouldn't use his real <laughs> name, so we'll call him Brad. A real one. No, actually, that's a bit of a lazy stereotype, isn't it? We'll call him Buddy. Anyway, the reason I mentioned this is that within three minutes of meeting me, Buck had asked me how much money I earn. It was about his third question. What do you do? I'm a comedian. Okay, that can mean nothing. Who do you work for? Various people. Well, that's useless. I know. How much do you make? I don't think I've ever felt more English. Well, I mean to say, dash it all, what? A chap doesn't ask another chap how much a chap makes. But Biff had done, and I wasn't even sure why I was so reluctant to tell him. After all, all he wanted was a handy way to place me. What was wrong with that? Wouldn't the world be a better place if we could all ask each other whatever we liked without offence? How much do you earn? What do you weigh? Are you loved? Oh, yeah. Who will miss you when you die? After all, everyone <laughs> says they hate small talk. Why not abolish it and replace it with massive yes. talk? Yes. It's essentially yes. a distillation of the problem we always Love have it. with American behaviour that's different from ours. Are they being admirably honest and upfront, cutting through the cant and failing to be hamstrung by old world prejudices and preoccupations? Or are they just being rude? I don't think either. I think they're cheating. How much someone you've just met earns is one of the things that the game of polite conversation is designed to help you try and work out. Like how much sex are you getting and are you happy? You can't just ask those questions, not because it's vulgar, but because it's too easy. You have to form these opinions yourself. You can't cut to the chase. Drawing your own conclusions is the chase. And on the other side, we all have a right to present ourselves as we wish to be perceived. And the convention of not asking that particular question allows us to represent ourselves as worth more, or indeed less, than the bald fact of what the market will bear. Because the subtext behind the question was, look, I don't have time to make a judgment of my own. Give me the bottom line. What has it been decided that you are worth? And therefore, when boiled right down, are you any good? And you shouldn't have to answer that just because an American has asked you. Not that I'm having a go at Americans, incidentally. <laughs> but then again, I don't think it was a coincidence that it was an American who asked me. 
I don't think the British and the Americans make enough allowances for their cultural differences. When British and, say, Japanese business people meet, they're each acutely aware of the differences in their cultures and the rich opportunities that affords them to embarrass or offend one another by drinking from the finger bowl or stabbing the Queen. Whereas Brits and Americans <laughs> assume we basically have the same shared conventions, and we really don't. I told Bub what I make in the end, by the way, but I told him in town. He he yeah. He's promised to send me a food parcel as soon as he gets home. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Okay, so I have to say, like, it is inappropriate to ask something you've just met how much money they make. Like, you should, but... Hey, that's a dumb question. But... Can you not see Americans doing that? Because he's not wrong. That is how a lot of Americans base their opinion on you. Like, not everybody, not everybody. But some people who are egotistical and into money are very much like, if you don't make a certain amount of money, you're... I mean, we have met people who are like, if your wife works, then you are not part of our group. Like, it's... It is. It's an American thing. So I can see an American... I don't... I doubt this really happened to him, but I can see an American saying like, how much money did you make? Oh. It was nice talking to you. Okay, here comes annoying Nick, okay? We don't know too many non-Americans. We know some, mm -hmm. not a lot. So is it an American thing or is it a human thing? I always come back to that because anyone in the comment section can say, no, no, we would never do that in this country. We'd never do it. How do you know? Do you know everybody in your country? But can I see people in America asking that? Absolutely. Can I see someone asking that and me going and thinking, I make more than that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I don't think it's a very polite question. I remember asking her that question when we were dating, actually. And I was not asking to size up or this or that. I don't even know what I was thinking, right? But when I, the way I grew up, it wasn't really that big of a deal. And because I the, the jobs, I mean, you know, minimum wage, $8 an hour or whatever. No one I knew was making hundreds of thousands of dollars in my age. And I grew up as you don't ask. Like I asked my mom one time and it was like, how dare you? Like you don't ask. <laughs> so I guess I am part of the problem. And yes, I'm American. But I remember asking her that and she was just like, and I was just, and we were like in that puppy love stage where you can do no wrong. Oh man, did I do wrong. And she had that feeling of disappointment in her future partner that she's never gotten rid of. Not for that, but for so many other things that I do on a daily basis. <laughs> unfortunately for her but i'll never forget that like oh man i crossed the line what'd you do nick you're in the doghouse what'd you do i asked her how much she made but she taught me something you don't that ask it some people aren't aren't okay with it mm -hmm. i'm totally fine you can ask me right now and i'll tell you how much i make as a teacher i can care less because first of all it's public knowledge second of all it's not that big of a deal do i make a million dollars nope next question please I'm, just I'm like, don't say it, don't say it, because you don't talk about what you make. I make more than a dollar, less than a million, but Ooh. each year. Woo! But I, I love the, I love all of his videos. I love how he just talks about how this is not a dig at Americans, but subsequent kind of is. <laughs> I love all of that. I love the ending with the shack in the background mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I was hoping he would give me a little more about other specific questions that you should never ask. Yes. But I still like it. His videos are very short. I wish they were a little longer, but it is what it is. I love that they're on the internet and that we recently discovered it because I love watching it. We see the passion one there. We already reacted to that. was a fantastic video of his. Go ahead and check out all of his videos on his channel. Check all of them out. And then every once in a while, check out our channel as we react to his videos. We would really appreciate that. As you're doing that, before you leave this video, if you're still listening, thank you so much. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. And until next time. I was just to say at the same time, I, I am a little intrigued about how much a comedian makes. So I could see why the guy asked. I think just it varies curiosity. with each comedian depending on how popular and how many times you're on the road and whatnot. Yeah, but I could understand. And royalties too. Maybe if you're just curious, that thought process. Just saying. And with that being said, goodbye.